woke up and they were stuck to my head and now they won't come off. Oh, this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Hey, what where, where about that time when you had that little piece of popcorn stuck in your mm. back teeth roll like three weeks? This, this is weirder, Leona. Oh, I'm a mutant, a lion, and a moose. Oh, somebody pinch me. This must be a bad dream. Oh. Nope, you're not dreaming. Now, Lionel, honey, mm. don't you worry your little... your head. I know a story about a little girl who had the exact same thing happen to her. Really? Really. Come on, let's all go read it. Yeah. It'll make you feel better. Hmm? Okay. Come on. <laughs> we gotta read a book now. <laughs> no, ow, 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 ow. Owie, owie, owie. Serves oh. you right for pinching me. Hm. You, you asked me to. Um, shouldn't we at least finish bre... Oh, never mind. I can relate. I woke up with feathers again. Me too. <laughs> Yo, birds! Oh. Ah, now, can everyone... Oh! Sorry. It's all right. Can everyone see from where they're sitting? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. Imogene's Antlers by David Small. <sighs> On Thursday, when Imogene woke up, she found she had grown antlers. Look, Lionel, antlers just like yours. Thank you. I can see that. <clears throat> Getting dressed was difficult. And going through a door now took some thinking. Imogene started down for breakfast, but got hung up. Imogene's mother fainted away. Her brother Norman consulted the encyclopedia and then announced that Imogene had turned into a rare form of miniature elk. Imogene's mother fainted again and was carried upstairs to bed. Imogene went into the kitchen. Lucy, the kitchen maid, had her sit by the oven to dry some towels. Lovely antlers, said Lucy. Lovely? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, they, they are lovely. Oh, oh, not as lovely as yours, Lionel. Oh, no. Oh, no, nowhere near as lovely as yours, no. Lionel. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Never mind. Just, just keep reading. What, what, what happens next? Well, yeah, let's yeah. see. Huh. The cook, Mrs. Perkins, gave Imogene a donut. Mm. A donut? A donut? That, 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 that's, that's all they can think of at a time like this? Is it, is it, is it a, a, a donut? <laughs> Donuts are always a good I idea. Like donuts. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yes. <laughs> <Good enough. sighs> then she decked her out with several more. Imogene wandered upstairs. She found the whole family in Mother's bedroom. Donuts, anyone? Her mother said, Imogene, we have decided there is only one thing to do. We must hide your antlers under a hat. Ugh. 
Norman telephoned the milliner. And she's okay with this? At three o'clock, the milliner arrived. her piano lesson. Then yawning, she folded her music, kissed the family, and went to bed. Imogene sighed, remembering the long, eventful day. On Friday, when Imogene woke up, the antlers had disappeared. When she came down to breakfast, the family was overjoyed to see her back to normal. Until she came into the room. Ooh. The end. Hmm. Great story. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. That's great. First, she loses her antlers, and then, then she grows a peacock's tail. And that's supposed to make me feel, feel better? Well, oh. oh, I feel better. No, they're going to go away, Lionel. Just like you. Jeans. Right. In the meantime, enjoy them. Enjoy them? Mm. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's turning into Bullwinkle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stay right there, son. We're going to go find ways to cheer you up, Mr. Grumpy. Oh. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Right. Mr. Grumpy? Oh, this is insane. I must be dreaming. I'm going to pinch myself. No! Oh! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Oh! Ah! Mm. Antlers. And. And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, clap along with Martha Reader and the Vowels as they sing the short A sound from their band. I just love that A-R-M. 
Pant. Ant. Er. Antlers. Oh, man. I wish I could sneeze these antlers off. I'm having, like, the weirdest day ever. Ah! Oh, Lionel, do not be blue. As you can see, I have antlers, too. Together, we'll try to overcome them. Learn something from them. Side by antler I didn't just say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay right here. We'll be right back. Right. Come on, right. family. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mom, can I be a coat rack? <gasps> what a weird family. Whoa. And now it's time for... Great words, great words. Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir D. D. <laughs> and on your right, Sir Ants. Ants. Blend on, dudes. D. Ants. D. Ants. D. Ants. D. Ants. D. Ants. <laughs> for today. And this is Gawain saying, don't forget to dance by again. See you next time on Great Word, Great Word. Dance. Damp. Lamp. Clamp. Clam. And now a little poem in which letters change and make something very interesting happen. There once was a careless young clam Who forgot to look out where he swam A big wave from the sea made as WD And washed the clam over the dam, oh yeah it washed the clam over the dam. Let's begin with Theo and Cleo. Check out what's cooking. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Clam, ooh, yeah. Clam, whoa. My little meat dumpling. Oh. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, let's get started. <laughs> oh. Right away, Theo, my wildebeest jerky. Oh. Mm. Oh. What's cooking mm. today is mm. 
slammed and rammed ham with no yam or clam. My favorite. <laughs> One. Get rid of the yam and clam. Goodbye, yam. Goodbye, clam. Two. <coughs> Slam the ham. Ham. Slammed. Oh, Theo, you are so big and strong, my love. Ooh, yeah. Three. Ram the ham. All righty. Yep. Okay. Ram the ham. Four. Cook the slammed and rammed ham for ten minutes. Only ten minutes? Well, that's what the recipe says. Well, maybe just this once we could... And now, fun with Chicken Jane. Today, Chicken Jane and the Bad Ram. Write the letters S C R A M. Scram. 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 Look, Dot, look. Chicken Jane is in the hamper. We are not in the hamper. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Chicken, Chicken Jane. Jane. Enchanting! Ah! 
Oh, my friend thinks I'm enchanting. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dr. Ruth. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're oh. welcome. You're oh. welcome. Oh. Ooh, I am good. I'm pretty enchanting, too. What in the... What is this? <laughs> a play! The play's the thing! Yup, yup, and mm. I wrote it, mm -hmm. and you're in it, Lionel, and it's gonna get rid of your antlers! Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, get in places now. It's magic time! Go ahead, Mom. Start your nation. What? Narration, honey. Come on. Come wow! Once upon a time, in a magic forest, there was a beautiful, beautiful magic princess. She was so beautiful and so nice that all the forest creatures loved her. Hello, little squirrel. And how are you today? Good morning, beautiful princess. I am searching for nuts. Searching nuts. Yield 105,319 matches. <laughs> <laughs> Growl! I am a friendly hungry bear waking up after after the long the winter. Lions and squirrels and bears. Oh my! <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to be? Oh, you're asleep. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, the magic princess came upon a strange oh. sight. A sleeping lion cub <laughs> with antlers. <gasps> Look! A strange sight. A sleeping lion cub with antlers. He is under a spell that can only be broken by a beautiful magic. Uh, uh, princess! Oh, please, magic princess, can you help him? Um... Okay. So the beautiful princess did her magic antlers off your head dance. Around and around and around she danced. Antlers off your head, antlers off your head. Oh, 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 antlers off your head. And when he woke up, Sure enough, the antlers were... Still there! How can that be? My magic didn't work. They're still there, still there, still there, still there, still there, still there. Still there. Still there. Wake up, there. honey. You're having a bad so dream. Dear. Wake so up, pussycat. Leona, give you a little pinch. Lionel, oh, it works. Lionel. <laughs> oh, Lionel. Thank goodness, your head, it's regular and flat. What? I was having a dream that that Lionel had antlers. <laughs> and I did my magic dance, but they were still there. He still had antlers. Oh, it, it was only a dream, Leona. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it must be because we read you Imogene's antlers before you went to sleep last night. Oh, Imogene's antlers. Oh, I love that book. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's have breakfast. Breakfast. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, here I come. Oh, <laughs> antlers, what a crazy idea. Antlers. <laughs> Imagine me having and 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 Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. Oh. Between the lions. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. bbskids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Reading to children every day creates warm family memories, and it helps them become better readers. 
Help a child get wild about reading. Be a designated reader. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I'm ready to get wild. 